Okay, here we have Putin sets the stage for the incoming U.S. administration. This is from December 1st um, from this website, Critical Threats. Um, he has kept international attention riveted on Russia operations in Syria while escalating middle military deployments and political operations across Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. Putin's global strategy relies on creating the impression that a U.S. challenge to Russian expansion would be met with a conventional military or even nuclear Russian response. He aims to present the incoming administration with the false dichotomy of partnering with Russia and allowing Putin to operate with impunity of going, of going to war. He's not changed his approach following the U.S. election despite the conciliatory tone struck by President-elect Donald Trump. He has instead continued to make forward military deployments and used increasingly aggressive rhetoric. Russia announced a massive new deployment of some of their most advanced anti-aircraft systems to Syria the day after the president-elect expressed his hope for a strong and enduring relationship with Russia during a phone call with the Russian president. And here you see what Russian President Putin hopes to get from the Trump administration. And look here to add that came up when I opened this page of his sevenfold, the stage, you know, there's sellouts, you know, there's, if you've seen that, that video for that song, the stage, yeah, <laughs> anyway, what he hopes to get from a Trump administration, um, here's what he's saying, he said, been conciliatory in his annual State of the Nation address delivered from an ornate assembly room in the Kremlin Thursday. God damn it. I had to disable ad block to look at this. Um, he avoided the harsh references to Washington and its allies that are often the hallmark of such high profile ceremonial speeches. <clears throat> Instead, he focused on Russia's domestic challenges and painted his own government as averse to international friction. We don't want confrontation with anyone. We don't need it. Official media outlets quoted him as telling an assemblage of Russian political elite, we are not seeking and have never sought enemies. We need friends. You know, they're all friends. You know, this is just like, like here. The ads, it's the stage. You know, the stage has been set for a long time. You know, so you got that there. And then this fucking page will be like, uh, okay, here we go. I hope it's big enough to fix that here. Okay. Right, here. okay. God damn it. Ah. Fuck. There we go. Okay. Putin says clever Donald Trump will soon take responsibility. <laughs> See, you know, like I said here, the stage, if it's big enough. So, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. See, the stage. Anyway, the stage. Okay. I'll, you know, it, I'll get into that in a minute. Um. Since he managed to achieve success in business, that shows he's a clever person. Not say no one, not failing to mention that you know he's a Jesuit. You know you can look on, you know delete delete stuff there on that, and you know he's a Jesuit. You know he's one of them. Putin is not Putin, Trump, um, and so is Putin. Um, So, yeah, I'll leave links to all this and you read them for yourself there. It's important to normalize and start to develop bilateral relations on an equal and mutually beneficial basis. Um, he praised him during the election for appealing effectively to disenchanted American electors, but you know what Trump's done since he's been elected, I mean, selected, not elected, he's <laughs> totally went back on everything he said. So, I mean, Putin, you know, if, you, if you've seen posts about it, you know, uh, 
he said the digital, you know, everything to be digital is a matter of national security, you know, and then you have that Russian hack, you know, um, of the banks, the banks in Russia got hacked, the central bank, and it, come on, that's all part of it, um, to get everything digital. Um, so, damn it, I wasn't ready for this, man, <laughs> got a lot going on here, make Russia great again, if Trump lifts sanctions, Putin could establish his country as an equal to U.S., this was on the third, um, he wants Vladimir Putin wants to make Russia great again. For that, he may need a hand from Donald Trump. Um, you know, the U.S. has sanctions against him. You know, he's wanting him to relieve the crippling sanctions uh, to make them equal to the U.S. Uh, you know, they didn't tamper with shit. You know, see here, they was accused of <coughs> tampering with the election, but there was no election, it was a selection, you know, you're just told, look, these are who you choose from, but we don't know who's going to be selected, so, you know, and they sway you at the last minute to put all your votes for this person, when, you know, that was the plan from the beginning, anyway, um, let's see, Turns out Russia won the election. United Russia won the election in America. Somebody said on Russian radio there, you know, really <laughs> it wasn't Russia. It was the um, the elite. Well, every election they do, you know. So um, I mean, I'll leave. Like I said, I'll leave links to all this in the um, pause. Okay, and here Putin expresses confidence in President Elect. Trump amid Taiwan Romney concerns. Uh, he said in an interview to be aired Sunday, which let's see what the hell this is. Yeah, tomorrow will be aired tomorrow. Uh, the president-elect Donald Trump will soon realize the level of responsibility his job entails. He then knows what his job is, so that's why he was selected. Um, so. Despite Trump's pro-Russian statements during the campaign, Russian politicians are concerned that reports that Trump is considering Mitt Romney known for his harsh stance on Russia to be his Secretary of State. Additionally, the president-elect has caused concern in Asia over his phone call with the leader of Taiwan, potentially upsetting long-standing relations with China. He said in an interview that will be broadcast Sunday, he's confident Trump will make the right choices. You no, know he fucking will. Um, so... <clears throat> God damn it. Give me a second here. Okay. And here, Putin attempts for unipolar world fail, balance the world restore. Yeah, you know, don't be deceived by this shit. Um, but he says, people in the modern world listen to those whose voice is loud enough to be heard, you know, and, and that's why they put Trump in there, you know, because he's la la. You, you get that. Anyway. <laughs> They say, you know, it, it, the attempts to establish a one polar world order have failed and the balance on the international arena restores. Russia's President Putin said in an interview with a weekly program on the NTV channel, um, you know, don't be fooled by this shit, you know, they, you know, they're putting him out as the good guy when he's not the good guy at all, you know, he's one of them, see here, um, Oops. Anyway, there, you know, in Peru, you know, he's, yeah, um, oh, god damn it, they see here, Peru, Putin, and Trump have mutual political understanding, see there, it's about the multipolar New World Order run by the G20 with the BRICS as the main players serving communist system through the Pope's agenda 2030. And I'll leave links to all this stuff below. Um, check out, see. Um, 
everything there. But, you know, he's one of them. So, I'll leave links to all this stuff. Um, see this Maria Vladimir Pavla, whatever her, how do you say it? Um, the Committee 300. Uh, Romanovs. Um, Grand Duchess of Russia. Um, yeah, that's who people who's really in control, you know, people behind the scenes you don't see. Uh, this is the way right, and I don't run out of time. <laughs> Shit. Okay, and here's another one about that woman, uh, Maria Vladimirovna, Grand Duchess of Russia. Um, you see on the pic, and in the link below, she's knighted to all sorts of Jesuit Catholic orders, including as a Knight of Malta and the Committee of 300. God damn it. Anyway, I've got the mini windows open here, and I'm about to crash. I need to speed up a bit. Um, but, you know, like I said, I'll leave links. So, see, look. Look at all this here. Um, so, let me see. I have this all load the other here quickly. Um, okay, see, there's more, I mean, some of it's the same stuff, but you know, you check it all out, there's some different stuff on each of these posts you can check out. Um, I hope I'm not crashing here. <laughs> so, um, there you go. He's puppet. You know, he's doing what they tell him to do, like Trump. Um, um, and also, you know, he's <laughs> talks about, you know, he doesn't do vaccines, and he does. Uh, you know, like they do here with us, the vaccines and GMOs and shit. Um, he's doing the same to his own people. You know, so. <sighs> anyway. Like I said, I will leave links to all this so you can come read it for yourself, make your own conclusion. But, you know, it, that's pretty clear there. The stage has been set, you know, so, so you know, the stage is set. Like I said, you know, uh, sets the stage for the coming U.S. administration. See what he hopes to get from the Trump administration. Clever Donald Trump will soon take responsibility. Make Russia great again if Trump lifts sanctions, Putin can establish countries equal to U.S. And he expresses confidence in President-elect Trump amid Taiwan Romney concern. I can't hear if I done this one. And this one. You know, don't be deceived by that shit. They do, they are, you know, they all work on the same team, you know. And this one. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> shit. Sorry. Um, anyway. 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 Um, you know, I'm not this, but you know, I'll put all these links that I've looked at in the Google stuff. Just check it out, you know, see for yourself. So, um, anyway, um, thanks for watching. Peace and love and help each other. We'll see you next time. I'll show Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So, look at www.worldtimezone.com for your time zone, whatever. If you want to watch whatever join so catch you later bye